Hey, Floss Tube. It's Kate, the Queen of Starts, and it is Friday. And I think it's the 26th of February, so we just have a few more days left. So, much better day today than yesterday. Yesterday was very bad. <laughs> very bad pain day, and I appreciate all the well wishes and nice thoughts. So, oh, one day at a time. Today's better, and I wanted to come on and do a, hopefully, one video instead of two. Uh, because I have a whole lot to show you, so it may be two videos, but I changed the resolution on my phone, so I'm hoping that will not cut me off at an hour. We'll see. But I have a lot to show you. So, obviously, I have two weeks' worth of starts to show you. I have two weeks' worth of love whips to show you. I have some other whips I've been working on. I've started a daily rotation, so I have all those whips to show you. I have a little bit of haul, and then I wanted to talk about my plans for Monday. So lots, lots, lots to show you. So let's get started. I have my starts. I'm going all the way back to February 11th, which I think I showed in my last video, but I was gonna just show it again because it's been a while. Not that I worked on it since, but I keep cutting my head off. Let me fix that a little bit. That's better. Not really. So on February 11th, I started. You hear the dogs in the background, as always. Who knows what they're barking at. Actually, I think it's early release day or something for the kids. Yes, dear, what you need? No, I can say, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you Okay. Teenager had something to tell me. Um, I think it's early release day for the kids because they're walking by the house a lot, so the dogs are barking earlier than usual. Anyway, we started Pretty Little Italy from Satsuma. I love her cities. They're so fun. She just came out with Toronto, which of course I had to get. You know. Yeah, kids. I hear kids. All right. So this is on 14 count antique, 14 count antique white Ada. There it is. And we have just a little blob. It's green. It's actually a hill. It's not a building. And I have my chocolate needle minder from Minding My Minders. Just a reminder, in case you didn't know, um, Jeannie from Minding My Minders is on hiatus right now, so she's not taking any orders right now. She is not uh, accepting any members to the group right now. So just taking a very much needed break to get some stuff done. We love her. We miss her. So, all right. My second start on February 11th, my free start. So I'll put the link in the description of the video is Give Thanks from Jean Farish. There it is. Isn't that so cute? I love it. I love it, love it, love it. I want to look for one of those bags because I want to do that because that, that's just too cute. Anyway, it's adorable. And this is on 18 count Ada in oatmeal. And I have the Pilgrim Woman's skirt stitched. A little block in the middle is going to be her apron. So very fun. Very fun. Of course, I have my Thanksgiving Minion Needle Minder from Minding My Minders. Always fun. Gotta have your Minions. Alright. Then, on Friday the 12th, I started... The April Calendar Girl from Little House Needleworks. I love this series. So adorable. So I have January through March started. January's almost done, actually. Um, so I'm starting the rest of the series this year. This is on 14 count uh, Pink Fiddler Ada. I have the watering can done. This is my little butterfly needle minder I made from a pendant that I got at Hobby Lobby. And isn't this cool? I don't know if it'll show up, but I didn't discover until way later after I got it that it actually says faith and hope on the wings. And I thought that was really cool because my daughter's name is Hope. All right. The second start on Friday the 12th was Tetris. And this is a free design from Pixel Power. I don't have a picture, but um, I'll put the link in the description. 
And this is just on a little scrap of antique white Ada. And really a quick stitch. I've got a few blocks done already. Cute, cute. Um, it says old school is cool at the bottom. I love to play Tetris. I still have it on my phone. And I have my Cookie Monster Needle Minder from Nifty Needle Nannies. Because who's old school cooler than Cookie Monster? Love Cookie Monster. All right. Saturday the 13th. I started. Let go. I started Afternoon in Paris from Country Cottage Needleworks. Ooh, did you see they came out with a new one? Afternoon in New York. Ooh, I have to get that. So, there's Afternoon in Paris. And I've started it, and I've actually worked on this twice uh, in the last two weeks. And I'll tell you why in a little bit. But, um... My start, obviously I didn't get, didn't get all this done in one day. I got this little section right here on the Eiffel Tower stitched when I started. So, by here I'm almost done. And I have my K needle minder that I made from a pendant from a necklace a friend gave me. And this is 28 count Monaco Even Weave from Mo's Sale. One of her fabric of the month. Gorgeous. Just love it. Get in there. I'm actually uh, stitching these afternoon cities with the called for weeks and classic color works and gassed, which is different for me, but I'm liking it. All right, and then my free start for Saturday the 13th is the, this one has a, this one comes with my disclaimer. I got this for free. It's not free anymore because this is from Cross Stitch Collectibles. And I'll put a link in the description. They give a free fractal bookmark uh, chart every month. And this was the December one. And I just adore it. It's so pretty with all the grays and the blacks. And I, I just love it. I love the design. My favorite so far. Um, I've gotten all of them since I discovered them. But, uh, but yeah, December so far is my favorite. The one this month is very pretty. It's um, different shades of blue. But uh, that one was my favorite. I have a couple of them started. But uh, but yeah, if you go on to Cross Stitch Collectibles, you can download this month's free um, fractal bookmark chart for a few more days. And then next week there will be a new one. So this is what I've started. It's just on a scrap piece of white 28 count even weave that I was looking for this morning and couldn't find. <laughs> so here it is. But I've just started... On the corner there I have a little bit of black stitched and I'm doing this uh, 2 over 1 tent on uh, 28 count. And I have my zero needle minder that I made myself. Oh yay, the neighbor is doing yard work. Oh, you might need to let the dogs in because the neighbor's doing yard work. The dogs tend to bark a little much at the neighbor when he's trying to cut his grass. And he doesn't like them. So, who wouldn't love my giant dogs? They were crazy. <laughs> anyway, Sunday the 14th was Valentine's Day. And we don't really celebrate Valentine's Day much here. But um, I, I went ahead and started some, some lovey charts. Just, you know, good for the day. So I started Sweets for the Sweet by Sue Hillis. Isn't that so cute? I love the little charm. Little heart charm it comes with. And this is on 14 count pink fiddler Ada. And I have just a couple letters stitched. The red is showing up really nice on that pink. And I have another chocolate needle minder from Minding My Minders. My free start for the day on Valentine's Day was Dragon Love from Dragon Dreams. And I'll put a link in the description. I don't have a picture. But it's two dragons holding hands or claws, whatever they have. And there's a little heart above them. It's oh so adorable. So this is on 14 count rose pink Ada. Has this really pretty shimmery look and feel to it. And the green is just showing up beautiful on that. So that's one of the dragon's heads. Almost done. And then I have my Ankh needle minder from Minding My Minders. You know, life, love should go together. 
Okay, Monday the 15th, I started my free start for the day, which I think I should be able to finish rather quickly because it's a, a, a stitching up very quickly already, is a freebie from Glory B, and I'll put a link in the description, called Spring Tulips. And it's just a little bookmark, but it's oh so cute. It's just, I'm stitching this on a scrap of white, 14 count Ada, and it's just going to be a nice little bookmark. So I have three of the stems done, and I think there's seven. So I mean, like I said, just a quick stitch, stitching up really nicely. Um, I'm totally changing the colors to whatever I want. So I'm stitching the green with Artiste Variegated in Forest Glen. That's what I'm using for the stems. And then the flowers, I'm using... There's four different colors used in the flowers, so I'm going to keep that. But I'm using Artiste Spring Willow. Artiste Toscana Sunset. And Artiste Bombay. And that's a Hobby Lobby brand of floss. Really like it. Very nice. Um, they had it on clearance recently, and I had bought some colors a while back and then I started using them and discovered how much I liked them. So I went back to Hobby Lobby and cleared the shelf. Ended up with a hundred and twenty something skeins for 17 cents a piece. Love it. So getting my use out of those. And then this is General Arts Purple Iris. So that's what I'm going to use for the blossoms. And I'm jingling today. My favorite bracelets. <laughs> I wear them a lot. All right, now my other start, uh, it was the We Are Diane Williams chart, also known as Home of a Needleworker from Little House Needleworks, and I'm stitching this with my fellow stitchers of the Whipocalypse that I got to get uh, got to get together with that day, Katie the Sash Queen and Brian C and Garrett Coffee Stitcher. We had a blast. Um, we got to visit Katie's LNS and. Well, Brian didn't. He was late. But he joined us to stitch at uh, at uh, the Kid Mania where we were sitting and stitching and having a good time where we made our video. So that's under Katie the Stash Queen, uh, her list of videos if you haven't seen it. Cute, adorable, funny as always. I love getting together with them. So we had a lot of fun. So there's Home of a Needleworker. Garrett and I are actually going to stitch Diane Williams instead of our own names because we are Diane Williams. So this is on 14 count antique white Ada and Garrett was super sweet and so nice. He gave me, um, he had purchased a Karen water lilies at the store that day that uh, he discovered he had two of. So he gave it to me and I switched it at the last minute. I had picked my colors, not the colors charted, but I had picked some other colors that I liked to stitch the design with and I said oh I have to use that for the words because it's too pretty so this is Karen water lilies oh, it's not picking it up oh it's so pretty it is so pretty it's um has just all these different colors of brown in it and it's so soft I just like to pet it anyway it is perfect for the words in the middle so I'm stitching home of a needleworker with Karen Water Lily's silk in copper. So there we are, just have the, the E and the start of a D. So I haven't gone any farther on it. And then I have my pink, nope, that's the purple one. Purple and the pink are real close. My purple blingy floss bobbin uh, needle minder from True North Needle Minders. I think Nifty Needle Nannies has them as well. All right, that was the 15th. Tuesday the 16th, there go the dogs. Tuesday the 16th, I started First Snow, which is a free design from, I don't remember, the Drawn Thread. <laughs> and I really like this. It's just so pretty. Look at the snow and the little birds. And this will be fun. It uses the pine stitch, which I've never done before. 
Actually, it uses three versions of the pine stitch and then the smearing across, which I have done. And then all those little bits of snow, I want to try the pin stitch. Carolyn Mazio has a fabulous tutorial on how to, how to do that. So I think I'm going to attempt that for this. So this is on 28 count uh, Monaco Even Weave in Dove Gray from an eBay seller. And so I've started the tree there. And then I have my Jack Needle Minder from Gina's Unique Boutique. So fun, fun stitch. My second start on the 16th was the February Year in Chalk design from Hands On Design. Love it. So fun. I'm stitching all of the white in all of them in uh, DMC B5200 because it's my favorite. But all of the color, um, there's just a little smidgen of color in each of them. So I went ahead and, and I'm petting my thread again. <laughs> but I went ahead and bought the Call for Gentle Arts thread because I figured it, you know, it's one skein for each. And it gives me a chance to try out the floss. And then I don't think it'll use a whole lot. And it'll give me a, a floss stash when I'm done. So I'm using the T-Rose that it calls for. And this is on 14 count, Black Ada. Not my favorite, but it works. Got to use my light and my magnifier. But So I have a little bit of pink done. And I have my blingy Alice Needle Minder from True North Needle Minders. And that brings us to Wednesday the 17th. I started my free design. These have been all over Facebook. Um, really cute. Uh, the Snowflower Diaries on her blog, she's doing a stitch along. And so she is issuing a new little monthly chart every month. So nice of her. And I just think this one, this one's my favorite so far. Uh, I think there's three that have come out so far. I think, yeah, she came out with the March one. Um, but this one's my favorite by far. Isn't that so nice? The little boy and girl mallard duck. Um, when we lived in Florida, we used to love to go to the lakes and see the the male and female mallards, and it was just it's just so fun. So I'm stitching this on 14 count Ada hand dyed from Fabrics by LJ. This is called Tulips. Pretty pretty. He does good work. Um, and there I got the the male's head stitched. This is working up really fast. So I think that'll be um, easily finished this year. And I have a purple rose needle minder that I made myself. All right. Second start of the 17th. Oh, that's called Joyful World February. That's the series name. But my second start was another Satsuma Street. I'm trying to start all of them this year. Um, I started Paris, Barcelona, and New York last year, so I'm trying to start the rest of them this year, because I can, and it's fun. All right, Pretty Little London from Satsuma. Black and white picture, but trying to save ink. I've also had this kitted up, I think, longer than I have had ink for it. So this is on 14 count Antique White Ada, really stiff piece. Not sure why, but this one's a little stiff, and that's okay. But, and it's upside down. And so I've started there on the tower. Pretty, pretty. And I have my, my very dark needle minder. I have my steampunk owl needle minder from Minding My Minders. I don't know, I love him in his little top hat. He just, he's so cool. Okay, and now we're up to Thursday of last week when I was supposed to do a video, and I didn't. I actually filmed a video on Saturday, but I really didn't like it, and it had so many interruptions, and it was annoying me, and I deleted it, and I haven't had a chance to make another one. So, anyway, Thursday, last week, the 19th, I started... That's the wrong pile. I don't even know where that one goes. Okay. Right pile. I started Coffee Lover. This is a free design from Kinkavel Crosses. Kinkavel, Kinkavel, I don't know. They have awesome freebies. Lots of them. Especially if you love to stitch words. 
they have a lot of word charts so my favorite and a lot of them don't come with um, color guides or if they do they just give you a general use a red a blue a green or change whatever that way it's very customizable I don't know if that's a word it's a word I said it it's a word anyway this is called coffee lover and it just says I love coffee and the O in love is a coffee cup with little steam coming up it's actually uh, charted as two lines but I'm gonna make it into a bookmark and stitch it all on one so it's just on a little scrap of uh, 28 count tea dyed Monaco even weaver Lugana might be Lugana from Hobby Lobby but I am stitching the words in Moe's Sail Cotton in uh, Muddy Waters. I love the blue and brown. I have no idea what I'm going to stitch the mug in. I haven't decided yet. And then I have my little blue M&M Needle Minder from Gina's Unique Boutique. Fun, fun little stitch. And I'll put the link in the description. Lots of freebies on that site. Um, they're all on one page. So you'll just have to keep scrolling down, but you're, it won't look like there's a lot, but just keep scrolling. The little bar gets smaller and smaller and smaller. And I don't know why I'm trying to pull that out. That is not what I started last uh, Thursday, Friday, last Friday. Um, I really want to show you this one, apparently, because I keep reaching for it. Okay, my second start on Friday the 16th, Friday the 19th. I know what I'm doing. I can read my notes. Was another Satsuma. Pretty little Chicago. And I'm doing this on 14 count oatmeal Ada. I started working on the train. Right there. A little bit of gray, a little bit of blue. And I have my owl needle minder from Minding My Minders. Okay, next up, Sunday. Hmm. Yeah, Sunday the 20th. That's not right. Saturday the 20th. Okay, anyway, February 20th. I don't know what day it was. I didn't write it down. <sighs> Here's more starts. How's that? Was, uh, it was Saturday. Okay, I do know that was Saturday now that I think about it. Anyway, this is a free chart from Plum Street Samplers. And it was um, the 2008 freebie, I think is what it was called. But it's called Coffin Buzz. And I shall read it for you. Here lies my sleeping body as lifeless as can be. If thou shouldest bring me coffee, I would spring to life with glee. Fun, fun. So I'm stitching this on 14 count. Um, I think it's antique white Ada, but it has kind of a yellowish tint to it. It's not as antique as some. It's kind of a yellowy tint. So, but there is what I have. Um, and this is fun. I had gotten a package of the new DMC floss colors. I had one in a giveaway. So I decided this was the best place to use them. So what's really cool about this, um, it doesn't look as purple as it is. It, it doesn't look as purple on the uh, fabric. But I'm using DMC 3888 for the words. And then there's some decorative elements in it that I'll be using DMC 3880. A pretty rosy color. So I thought those looked nice together. Purple and the rose. Pretty, pretty. So that gave me a chance to use my, my new colors. This would explain why I'm missing needles. I keep leaving them in my projects. And I have my Capricorn Needle Minder from Mining My Minders. Okay, second start of the day on Saturday was... Get in there. Let's go a second pile. A Virtuous Woman from Jan Lynn. This is actually a, um, I'm looking for a place to stick this needle. I don't have one. Ah, 
I'll stick it over here. Okay. Anyway, this was a kit. Um, and you can buy it as a kit. You can buy it on Amazon, I think. Uh, but I bought this on Stash Unload. She was selling just the chart. So that made me very happy. So I, I just, I, as soon as I saw someone stitching this, I said, I have to have that. I love the Proverbs 31 woman. And so this has, you know, all the different verses and little pictures to go with it. So, so nice. So I stayed with the 14 count white Ada that it called for and just, you know, cut a piece from my stash. It's a big piece. But I started right, come here, slippery. It's this one right here, the little house with the cardinal that says she is not afraid of the snow for all her household is clothed in scarlet. No snow for us this year. So that's where I am. Lots of ch color changes in a small area. So not a lot of progress, but really enjoying it. And then this is a new needle minder that was part of my haul in the last two weeks. This is my little blue sheep from Nifty Needle Nannies. I need to get a pink one. She has a pink one too. And a yellow one, but I like the pink one. Okay, so Sunday, the 21st, race day. We watched the Daytona 500, which, did you see the end of that? That was incredible. If you're a race fan, you saw it. That was, oof, Danny Hamlin pulled it out of, well, he pulled it out of somewhere. It was awesome. So, anyway, Saturday, I started a free chart from uh, Sprite Stitch. And I'll put it in the the link in the description. This is one you've probably seen if you watch Katie the Stash Queen. She's stitching the exact same one. This is the Exploding Tardis. And it's the small one. There's two versions, a small and a large. So this is the small version. Only has nine pages. Oh, but it, some of the pages are like, you know, that many stitches. Tiny. So, so this is on 14 count white Ada. Stitching this just two over one. So I just started stitching some of the it might be black. Maybe. I think I would have left it with it if it was black. I don't think it's black. Maybe it's black. I don't know what color this is. It looks like black, but I don't think it is. Anyway, I just have some sprinkled stitches there. And of course, I have a Doctor Who needle minder. I have a lot of them. But this is from uh, Minding My Minders. Trust me, I'm the doctor. And then I also started one of the cities from Tiny Modernist, back on my travel kick. Neighbor must have come around to the side. So uh, this is Minneapolis from Tiny Modernist on Etsy. So I'll put a link to the what it looks like in the description. It's a digital chart. I printed it out, but I didn't print a cover picture. So it's just on a little piece of antique, oh no, uh, just white Ada, 14 count. They're really little, um, but they're really cool. So I have one of the buildings started. And then this is just a little owl needle minder I made from a pendant. Just a little gray owl. It's so cute. Monday, the 22nd, floss dropping everywhere. Monday the 22nd, I started, I, I discovered this one um, last minute, so I, this was one of those that uh, got kitted up at the last second. It's so cute. DMC has lots of cool freebies on their site. I did not know there was a difference between the American DMC site and the UK DMC site. And then someone posted a link to one of the charts on Facebook and I went over and was looking at all their freebies and they have some really adorable ones. They have a series of fairies and I'm not a fairy person. Um, I don't usually stitch them once in a while. One will call to me, but not very often. And I just thought this, these were so adorable. They have, uh, there's 12, but they're not quite all monthlies. I think 10 of them are, and then there's two that aren't. So it's not a full set, but that's okay. I just thought these were so cute, and 
she's going to stitch up really fast. So I'm going to stitch the whole set and put them in little frames in my daughter's room. Because these are the little daughter, the, the toddler. Because these are just too cute. So this is the DMC Fairy, fe the February Fairy. And I got her wings done and I started on her hair. And she's just stitching up really, really quickly. So, and this is just 14 count antique white Ada. Oh, please bring the dogs in. I'm going to pause this for a second. I'm not sure how to pause it. Okay, I'm back. I had to pause that for a second and go get the teenager to get the dogs. Anyway, little fall, fa little fairy from February. She's so cute. And I have my teddy bear needle binder that was a gift from Christine. Thank you, Christine. So cute. And the other one I started on the 22nd was Floss Daily. This is a chart on Etsy from We Little Stitches. And this, ever since I first started reading Katie the Stash Queen's blog, she used to have a blog, and she did this, I said, I'm going to do this too. And hope that, so this is all her fault. And uh, she, the whole reason I started buying floss from Mo, which I love, and anyway. So this is on 14 count rose pink Ada. And this was one of those days it was really funny. I had set my timer and I kept stitching and stitching and stitching and it never went off. And I was like, wow, I must be really stitching fast today. And I finished the words and then I checked and I hadn't even hit start on the timer. So I have no idea how long I stitched this, but I did the words in the middle. And then the rest of the chart is really cool. It has all these little floss bobbins. And what I'm going to do is actually, I'm stealing Katie's idea because it was fabulous. But I'm going to stitch each of the bobbins in a different color of Moe's floss. So, thought that was really cool. And then I have my Procrastinate Needle Minder from Stitchy Time Creations. So that one I'm really looking forward to playing with. Okay, the 23rd. I've forgotten what day that was again. Oh well, you know what day it was. I started November Harvest Pumpkin. And the reason it's November is I think I have the rest of them started except for September through December. And I wanted to start November. If that makes any sense. I don't know. Made sense to me. But these are uh, little charts by Erica Michaels that are free on Rainbow Gallery. Lots of little freebies from her there. And I'll put a link in the description. I'm petting floss again. Although this is just DMC. But it's still fun to pet. Um, but these are a lot of fun. I have two of three... Three. I have three of these done. And you can see how little they are. And I, I actually keep these real little. And I fray the edges. But this is solid. So at one time I actually knew how many stitches there were in here. It's it's pretty solid. It's solid and there's it's a lot of stitches actually. So I'm just working on the border. And I found um, it's all charted for... Uh, Rainbow Gallery Threads, which I'd never heard of, but now I discovered that uh, Katie's LNS stocks them. But I found a, it's on the, it's on the site, on Rainbow Gallery, they have color cards and they have conversion cards from Rainbow Gallery Splendor to DMC. So I'm using, uh, this calls for the Splendor Dark Brass, which is actually DMC converts to DMC 829. So that's what I did. Um, the other ones I've done, a lot of them, I just, I look at the picture and I find the DMC color that is close to it or I just pick a color that's pretty and that's what I use. And I, I have a lot of fun with them. Oh, and I have my little, little bitty leaf needle minder that I made myself. So, a lot of fun. Like I said, little, but has a lot of stitches in it. Okay. And then I started another digital chart, but I have them printed, is the Satsuma Street 12 Days of Christmas. I'm stitching them both ways as the sampler and individually, but right now I'm working on them individually. So this is day three, and I have a little, little blob of wings in there in the middle. 
and I have my this is another dark one my Christmas story needle minder from minding my minders my favorite Christmas movie I don't know why it just is it's hilarious watch it a couple times every year all right so that was day three on the 24th I started that was Tuesday no Wednesday Wednesday the 24th I started knock knock from uh, Prairie Schooler and it's funny it started for 3371 and I forgot and grabbed 310 instead so it's being stitched in 310 instead oh well I like it and this is 14 count Ada in sand just love the color so that's part of the porch and I have my owl key needle minder that I made. I got that from Hobby Lobby, the pendant. And my second start on Wednesday was... Come here. Oh, they're sticking together. Let go. Gotta love needle minders with good magnets. Um, this is from... Stay... This is from V and Company, and she has a site that you can buy charts from, and then she has a blog that she has lots of freebies on. So I'll put a link to the blog so you can find the freebies. A lot of really adorable ones. And this one says, please don't interrupt me while I'm talking to myself. I do that frequently. So I just don't answer myself. Well, I do that sometimes too. You know, it's okay if you talk to yourself, and it's okay if you answer yourself, but if you start saying, huh, what'd you say? Then you're in trouble. Anyway, so I started this on 14 count Ada, hand-dyed in tulips from Fabrics by LJ. My last piece. And I have an Alice uh, being chased by the cards needle minder from Minding My Minders. And I have almost the word interrupt. So, lots of fun. Okay, and yesterday's starts. The free one is by Sue Hillis. You saw the uh, sweets for the sweet I'm stitching. And this is from her site. I'll put the link in the description. Now, what's really funny about this is the words are charted for DMC 310. And I thought I grabbed that until I went to put it away. So apparently I'm stitching this in DMC 939, navy blue instead. That's okay. Looks good. So this is 14 count antique white Ada. And so I got that started and it says, pull up your big girl panties and deal with it. It's got some bloomers over here. So super cute. Love it. Love it. And I have my blingy Maleficent needle minder from True North Needle Minders. So lots of fun. You know, it's really funny stitching the words in navy blue. I had originally thought about changing the bloomers. They're, they're charted in pink. I might change them to blue. I thought about doing that. And I might just really do that now. So... Yesterday's second start, I did manage my starts yesterday. That was about all I managed. Stitched on my Love Whip, and that was it. But by the evening, I was feeling a bit better. Good enough to stitch for a little while. This one I didn't work very long on, but that's okay. It still started. Um, this is Dream from Lizzie Kate. One of the, uh, what is this called? This series is called Living with Charm. So... Really pretty designs and it's got another one in it that I'm going to show you upside down that says love so I'm doing this on 18 count Ada in oatmeal I have started the E and the A I have my Snoopy needle minder from Nifty Needle Nannies I love Snoopy why I haven't started my Snoopy charts I have no idea all right, and today, we're finally up to today. Today's starts. V 
the um, the free one I started is by Northern Expressions Needlework, which I was very excited to, to try because I keep hearing about the uh, Twisted Band Sampler and it looks really cool, but I'd never stitched anything by her before and I wanted to try something first. So she has this cute little freebie and it's called Little Heart Swirl. I had to make sure I got that right because I'm calling it Little Swirly Heart, which is the same thing, but not. Anyway, so I'm stitching this on linen. Linen. I don't like linen very much, but it worked for this, this chart. And I'm okay. I'm slow on linen, but, you know, it looks pretty. So I like the fab. I like the finished product. I'm not crazy about the... Anyway, linen. I can do it. I don't mind linen. A little thicker threads bug me, though. I don't know. I'm weird. Anyway, there it is. I got almost the, the little center swirl done. It is so pretty. I love it. It's so fun. And I am stitching this in Weeks Dye Works Turkish Red, which I bought at Katie's LNS uh, on the 15th. I knew I bought it for something. I didn't know what, but I knew I'd find something for it. And then I'm actually using the same the beads I bought that same day too, which is 62012, kind of a purpley color. But I bought them for um, one of the Brooks Books Stitcher's Alphabet pieces, and I won't be starting that for a little while. I don't remember which letter it was, but it'll be a little while, so I figured I'd, I'd use some for this, because it only needs like 30. But I'm beading as I go on this because the beads are really spread apart. So I'm actually adding the beads as I go. And they just look so cool on there. I love it. So anyway, I have my little mini needle minder from Gina's Unique Boutique. And her skirt. Oh, look. Her skirt is fuzzy. I wish you could feel it. But it's fuzzy. Fun, fun. And my second start today was... The Satsuma Street 12 Days of Christmas, day four. So I try to start uh, them in twos fairly close together for a couple reasons. Uh, one, the chart is printed two to a sheet. So rather than, and there's only one color key. So rather than having to print two of the same page, um, I just print one and start them close together. And two, they're in my, my whip boxes alphabetically. And so they're right next to each other. So they can share the same bag and they can share the same. Anyway, makes sense to me. So this is day four, the four calling birds. I'm working, it looks like a broom, but it's actually part of the cage. So this is 14 count white Ada. And I have my Ralphie Christmas Story Needle Minder from uh, Nifty Needle Nannies. So, all right, that's all my starts. I'm really curious to see if the camera's going to cut me off in 15 minutes. If it does, it's okay. I will just make another video, a second one, with the rest of my stuff. So, oh, that's all my starts. Oh, my back. No, I missed one. Where did I miss this? Oh! Okay. Okay, no wonder. All right. I'm losing my mind. Can't lose something you never had. I totally missed a batch. Okay, if you're counting, I'm glad you're keeping up because I didn't. This is way back on the 18th. This is probably why I was messed up on the dates and the days and all of those things. And this, <laughs> this explains a lot. <laughs> I started cross-stitch crazy. So, uh, considering how crazy I am... There we go. That's what I started. Cross Stitch Crazy Certified back on the 18th. Um, this is by Jeremiah Junction. I love it. <sighs> and this is falling apart. Not really. It's just fraying a little on the edge. i got to fix it. Uh, so this is 14 count white Ada. i got most of the words certified stitched there in the middle. And I have my Curiouser and Curiouser Needle Minder from Minding My Minders. And my second start for the 18th was 
free from my big toe. And it's a, another bookmark. And it says, Jesus loves me. That's a fun black and white picture. Pretty, pretty. Stitched up with uh, lots of variegated threads. So I think I'll probably just find some pretty variegated threads and stitch it up. It's kind of cool because it's um, the My Big Toe charts are charted for weeks. They give you the weeks n colors, the gassed number colors, the crescent colors, the DMC, the dinky dyes, and they give you Carrie's creations. Funny story about that. Let me show you the start first, and then I'll tell you the story. All right, 14 count white Ada, and I got the word Jesus done. I changed it. Um, I was going to stitch the words in DMC. And it's charted for 798, or at least this one is. Um, and I use 792, so just a little different blue. And I have my Remember the Reason for the Season needle minder from Minding My Minders. But anyway, Carrie's Creations thread. I had heard of it because I, you know, have the chart, and but I'd never seen it sold anywhere. And then I was watching... Joe's video, Joe Gregoire, and Joe, I'm so sorry if I messed that up. I botched that. I botched everybody's names, but I love you, Joe. She's so funny. You got to watch her videos. But um, I was watching her video, and she was talking about Carrie's Creations threads. And she was talking about their Thread of the Month Club. And I'm thinking, what is this? How, how, where have I been? I've been living under a rock. I've never heard of this. So um, I, I dug around, and I found the website, and she has lots of pretty colors. Uh, very reasonably priced. They're a dollar each. So I ordered seven skeins of just random pretty colors. Shipping was very reasonable. So that's on its way. And then I left Joe a, um, a comment on her video asking about the monthly club and she pointed me to Stitching Bits and Bobs. And I remember when I ordered from them, I saw the monthly bits clubs uh, that they have for various threads. So I was like, okay, let's try this. So I went ahead and placed an order for the Carrie's Creations Club. It's $20 for 20 skeins of floss. Uh, no shipping. So very excited to get that. I thought that was cool. Anyway, so that's all my starts. Now, uh, let me show you a couple things, just so I don't have this weird gap if the phone shuts me off. Um, and I have to start a second video. So we'll just talk for a few minutes about some random things before we show you the whips. So I have a finish. Yay! Just a little one. It's called A Little Bit of August from Lizzie Kate. Yay, it's done. It's on 14 count. Uh, Ada in sand. It's so fun. I love the little buttons. Little buttons, little seeds. So I finished that. Cute, cute. I gotta get the rest of the series. Um, What else? Oh, I'll show you my haul because my haul's kind of small. <laughs> it rhymes. I'm a dork. I'm dork. Anyway, so uh, you saw the Turkish red I bought from Katie's uh, local needle workshop. And I bought a couple other things that day. Not much. A couple other little things. I bought some Weeks floss in confetti. Pretty. Look at all those colors. That's for my gingerbread cottage number one from Country Cottage Needleworks. Um, Adele. Love Adele. She's so cute. Um... She did that in one of her videos. She was showing that she did the roof in bright, crazy, vivid colors. And I was like, oh, that is so cool. I have to do that. So I, 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 I copy all the greats. I love all your videos and I love all your ideas. There's so many greats out there. Don't have enough time to watch all the floss tube. All right. I also bought, this is Weeks in Peacoat. And believe it or not, it is a variegated black, which I did not know existed. But I figured I'd give it a try. It doesn't show up on the video, but it has a bit of variegation, just a little bit, which is what I wanted. I'm going to be using that to stitch the Ninth Doctor. So, and then I bought my very first Dinky Dyes Silk in Twilight. Pretty. All those blues. So, I bought that, and I bought the beads. You saw the purple beads. So that's all I bought. And the reason was because my doctor's appointment was the week before and that took all my stash money. So that's okay. I've made up for it since our tax check came in. 
But I did get a couple of things in the mail. First off, I got a needle minder order from Nifty Needle Nannies. And you saw the little sheep. And you're going to see um, another one here in a, in a bit. But uh, these are the other three I got. I got Yoda. Love Yoda. He's holding my needle. I got the Weeping Angel and I got a Blingy Frog. So I got those from Nifty Needle Nannies. And then I got a little package in the mail and I opened it up and I was just so excited. Um, Christine sent me a little package. Hi, Christine. Thank you so much. She sent me, you saw the little teddy bear needle minder. She sent me three other little teddy bears. So cute. I have plans for them. I do, because I have some charts coming up that have bears. So cute. She also sent me my very first lavender and lace chart. Is that right? Lavender and lace? Yes. Lavender and lace. Here's the picture. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that dress. Oh, so, so pretty. And it's called Little Wings. So pretty. I love it. So, thank you. And then I did get one, stay, precarious balancing act here on the bed. And I have lots of plastic bags sliding everywhere. Um, I did get my monthly order from Moe's Sale. So I got this absolutely gorgeous piece of fabric. Mo does good work. So, this is 28 count Monaco even weave. Look at that. Oh, I'm calling it Stormy Skies because that's exactly what it looks like. I just, oh, so beautiful. Love it, love it. So. And then I got some floss. I get 10 skeins of the cotton floss. Looking for a piece of white paper, which I'm not finding use my notebook so I got thin lovely kind of kind of a peachy orange pretty I got Han variegated green two shades of green there got Maz kind of a gray and blue very similar to Ajax but different and I got Leia Kind of a, kind of a, I don't know. Oh, that's better. Well, I'll just show that. There we go. Kind of an aubergine and it's a little more orangey down there. And I got Chewbacca. Kind of pinks and oranges. A little more pink than it's showing. And I got Poe. I love this, like this electric green. Check that out. And I got Ben. It's got some gray and some brown and orange and pink. And I got Ray. Blues and pinks and browns. And BB-8. Have a dark green, a sage green. And I got Luke. Kind of a variegated brown, which is really cool because that's what I was looking for. All right. So that was my monthly order from Mo. So I have some other fabric and floss coming. I have some charts coming. I got from Stash Unload that haven't been here yet. I haven't gotten my cross stitch and needlework yet. I blame my post office. So let me tell you about my plans for Monday. I'm just trying to stall time, see if the camera's going to shut me off. Um, so Monday is, of course, Leap Day. One special day we get every four years. So I decided to do something fun and crazy. And I, seriously, again, I, I thought I would be alone on this. And that's okay if I am. But uh, I have some people joining me, which is just hilarious. I love it. But um, seeing as how it's a special extra day, on Monday, instead of doing the two starts that I've been doing every day, uh, one one last kickoff before I go back to one start a day, which I tell you, I really am looking forward to going back to one start a day. But I'm going to do a start-a-thon on Monday. And that's all I'm going to work on on Monday is starts. 
And my rules for, for my personal challenge is um, each start must get 30 minutes, just like all my starts do, and no duplicate designers. So if, um, yeah, I can't start two Lizzie Cates or two Prairie Schoolers, so no duplicates. So I'm very excited to see how many I, I can do on Monday. I'm thinking five or six. I have a couple picked out. I have no idea what yet, but I, I have a couple picked out that I know I'm going to start on Monday. So I'm excited. Well, I still have five minutes. I don't know if it's going to cut me off, but I'm going to start talking about whips because y'all are probably going, come on, already talk. Anyway, that's fine. So love whips. We'll go on to love whips. Okay, so I'm still doing 30 minutes a day on one of my favorite whips. Thursday. Oh, got to get my list back out. Because I don't remember a thing. If I don't write it down, it is gone. Of Dory memory. There's another random needle I've been looking for. Where'd my Yoda go? Oh, that's fantastic. I've lost Yoda. That is so not cool what I do with it. Oh, there it is. Oh, goodness. If I only had a brain, I'd be dangerous. Okay. So, my love whip for Thursday the 11th was stitching buds from my big toe. And I remember showing this and thinking I could finish it in that day. Yeah, right. Okay, there's a lot of stitches in these little flowers. So, but I did this purple flower. So there's more, some more flowers and more vines up the side. So not too much left. And I have my queen of everything needle binder. Love it. Got that from Kim Weatherholt from Kimmy Calcrafts. Thank you, Kim. I love it. So that was Thursday. Friday the 12th, I worked on summer quilts from Ursula Michael. You must get this book. Everybody must get this book. I'm kidding. I just, I love the fact that several people have said, I have to get this book. I, I was enabled by a floss tuber. I don't know if it was me, but I'm stuck to my needle minder. But, um, but no, I love this book. I think everybody should love this book. It's just, it, they're so pretty. They're gorgeous. I have all five of them started. But the one I worked on, my favorite of all five, is the summer one. So, I worked on that. And it's on 14 count, white, uh, antique white Ada. And in my 30 minutes, I was able to stitch all of this at the bottom. Not the corner, but all of this. So I've got pretty far, actually. So that's all I have done on that one. And I have my blingy pink needle binder that I made myself. All right. Saturday the 13th. My love whip was another freebie from Kincable Crosses. Kinkavel? Kincable? I don't know. But it's called Who Who Me. Of course, it's an owl with a name like that. And I'm stitching this on 14 count light blue Ada. So this is a little boy owl, and there is a little girl owl, too, that I'm also stitching. Get back up there. So I stitched a few rows of the light brown, and I started adding the dark brown on his body. So, and I have my little owl needle minder from Nifty Needle Nannies. Okay. My love whip for Valentine's Day is, was... Calvin and Hobbs Making Faces from Hornswoggle Store on Etsy. Cute piece. I love Calvin and Hobbs. I even got my, my teenager hooked on them because I have some of the books. So this is on 14 count. White Ada. There's another wayward needle. I wonder why I can't find my needles. So... So I filled in this part here, and the part of the nose, and started working up my on the side there. And I have a black and yellow button that I made, needle minder that I made myself. So that was, that's Hobbs. Slowly but surely, it's a big piece, and the characters are solid, but the background isn't. So there's no background on it. 
which in hindsight I could have used something other than white, but that's okay. Get in the bag. There we go. All right, Monday, 